Hi guys, it's Ronnie here again. So for this episode, I'm going to talk about a question that I get very commonly asked a lot is that can introverts actually do well in a self-employed business? So personally, just to share with you guys, I'm more of an extrovert. I actually like to talk to people, I actually do well around people. But can introverts actually do well in a self-employed business? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, so let's discuss briefly about what is an introvert. Right, so I believe that introverts are people who have told me that they are actually very of low energy, they are not comfortable in meeting people, and they don't like to talk to people, right? So as we know that real estate and insurance, they are people business, so you actually have to be very comfortable in being around people, and you have to be charismatic to a certain extent for people to pay attention to you. So what if you are an introvert, right? So my first question to them is that, how do you know that you are an introvert? So a lot of them actually told me that, Oh, I had to do the personality test like Myers Briggs and realized that oh, I actually don't like to be around people, and or I have feedback from friends and family who told me I'm very quiet in social situations, I don't like to talk to people, and that's how I feel that I know I'm an introvert. Right, so for this video, I will cover a little bit about how, as an introvert, you can still do well in both the real estate and the insurance business. Alright, so you have taken the personality test, and now you know that you're an introvert. Right, so maybe I just share with you a few examples of the strength and weakness of an introvert. So introverts, they are actually known as lower energy, and they actually don't like to be around people as much, right? So they actually find it harder to command the attention of the client. Actually, your strength is to be able to be more attentive to what the client has to say, and you are more introspective as an individual. And most importantly, you are more sensitive to the client needs. Right, so in general, this is what a typical introvert looks like from a personality test. I actually spoke with a few introverts. I realized that a lot of them, when they were growing up, their parents are actually very strict with them around social situations. So for example, when they were younger and they started to make noise and inappropriate situations like a family dinner or they started shouting, the parents will actually punish them, right? And from then on, they will actually have a fear, a fear of not able to speak up publicly or have a fear of not being comfortable around people for saying the wrong things. So you have to understand that why some people grow up as introverts is because their upbringing is they actually being punished by their parents and they have a very limited perception of what is right and what is wrong, right? So when you are young, you are very heavily dependent on your parents for care protection. So naturally, if you are speaking at very non-appropriate situations, the negative reinforcement will have a very big impact on your set of beliefs and systems, right? So I realized that a lot of the introverts out there today is because their parents have always told them not to say the wrong things, say at the right time, and not to be a nuisance in social situations. And that's why they grow up in a way that they are afraid to speak up and they are afraid to relate to their clients. However, the good news is that you can actually change that part of you. The most important thing is that you have to be aware of why are you so-called an introvert in the first place and don't label yourself as that. Your labels are actually very toxic. Okay, so I'm going to share with you a little bit about how to ensure that everybody is having a great time and how you relate to your clients. Personally, I'm a very people person. I like to talk to people and I always find a lot of joy in hearing what people have to say. But if you are an introvert, you have to firstly understand that if you are doing sales, be it insurance or real estate, people actually gravitate towards higher energy people. Okay, so if you are an introvert, you have to acknowledge that fact. Put yourself in social situations where you can improve. So, for example, like I'm filming this video, I'm a very camera shy person, but nevertheless, how I practice being more comfortable in front of the camera is that I will film myself recording to my camera phone and practice as much as I can. So, similarly, as an introvert, you can actually meet your friends and family, do role plays with them, get handle some objections, learn how to break the ice. So, all these things can actually be learned and can be trained. Okay, so before I actually summarize the previous video, I would like to share with you a story about a friend of mine. This friend of mine actually enjoyed real estate at a very similar time as me. So he is actually a very awkward person. So when he joined real estate, right, he is so out of sync that when he speaks to my friends, when he speaks to us, 
he always laugh at inappropriate times and when he actually walked he will look down so he's probably of that he's very introverted and he does not have very good social skills so naturally when we started our wrestling career together and when he started to meet clients clients won't actually give him the time of day clients keep rejecting him and I remember that client even laugh at him for his demeanor right so how he actually improved himself right is that for three weeks straight he actually go out there on the streets to do what we call roadshow. So property roadshow is basically talking to random people on the street and tell them about the upcoming property launches and let you know them about what are the properties that are selling in the area. So for three weeks straight, he forced himself to be comfortable around people by talking to random people on the street. So that is one very big way of how you are able to overcome your introvertness if you are an introvert and how you are able to become a more efficient speaker. And that is very important for you. And at the end of the day, right, it's how bad you want to be an efficient communicator. Nobody is born introvert and nobody is born a certain way. Everybody can become better versions of themselves no matter what. Alright, so now to actually summarize this video. So there are three main points that you have to know to become a better efficient communicator. So firstly, you acknowledge that people actually gravitate towards higher energy people, more charismatic people. And secondly, is that you can actually change who you are. And how you change who you are, right, is to actually put yourself in uncomfortable situations to improve yourself. Okay, so this is actually the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. So if you like the video, do drop a like and hit the subscribe button. If you do have again any questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. If not, I'll see you soon. Alright, take care. Bye bye.